All right, guys. Hello and welcome to the city of Ur, which is in southern Mesopotamia. We just came from the marshlands, and we drove past. We actually drove past one of the biggest prisons in Iraq, which uh, which holds, I think, most of the people from the previous regime from the Saddam era, which is a bit strange, considering the life they lived probably about 20 years ago and what they're up to now. So they are a prop. I think maybe you could see. I think here. I think that is a prison. But anyway, welcome to the city of Ur. This is one of the oldest cities in the world. And here behind me, you can see the cigarette, one of the many cigarettes which are dotted around Iran and Iraq. And they're used as a temple for the various gods uh, during, the, during the, the era. And this one is for the god of the moon, which is known as Nana. I'm not really into the whole archaeological thing, but pretty cool to see sort of what the structures would look like obviously this one is kind of disappeared it wouldn't have been as large as that one but you can see obviously the mud bricks compressed mud bricks would have been used and then because of the huge amount of oil that Iraq has they would have used the bitumen and the tarmac to cover the top of it to protect the top so these are probably the foundations of the original building that would have sat here but wouldn't have been half the size of the of the temple itself which unfortunately you can't actually get up to which is a shame but yes we'll go over have a quick look and see what there is but this it might not look like much but this is the history here is just incredible Ur is different to Uruk yeah Uruk, different yes. right, but okay. Ur capital for the first people uh, so this this was the town center uh, this is the center of the city in the right. middle okay uh, yeah. what was the population uh, uh, the population, the excavator, they thought about a quarter to half million. Maybe correct, maybe not correct. 250 uh, to imagine, 500,000? Imagine, imagine here? Uh, just uh, estimated, sorry, estimated number. Okay. What's, what would the what the houses been like, you know, 4,000 years ago for the people here? All these things, 4,000 years BC, uh, and all these things, they abounded the city, 550 years BC. The, the houses just would have been, would they be made maybe, of the same maybe here, bricks? Maybe there. Or would they be made but of... Why most of the houses destroyed? Uh, because of from mud, mud bricks. But, uh, because of oh, because they were made of mud, mud. Okay, so uh, mud with a bit of rain and, yeah, and, rain, and wind, they would wind. eventually disappear. Yes. Would they have surrounded the the town center, or would city, they be scattered sort of everywhere? The city of Ur surrounded by two walls around it. Oh, okay. Yes, for defense. Oh, there was two walls around the whole city. Yes, yes. <coughs> oh. One of that walls called Igishergal. Yes. Igishergal. It means sacred wall. So sacred wall. Uh, around temples, royal palace, royal tombs, yeah. and second wall, a big wall around all yeah. the side. Yeah, you don't so, really get, you know, you're walking through here, you don't really get the impression that what it used to be like, you know, because exactly, it's flat. Don't know. So it's good that if these they, they these are maintained. Map for the city, just for the part which excavated. Yeah. But the part which not excavated, we don't know what in that part. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. True. Oh, so you're saying there could be. Hundreds of I homes see. or hundreds of buildings underneath the ground? Thousands. Thousands? Of course, because the total of course, area of four, the length of the city between four to five kilometers and width uh, between one kilometer and half two kilometers. Tell you what, I would have been lost without you. <laughs> no, no, no. Knowledge king. So, if you have any, <laughs> any questions? On this building here, so I'm, so I'm this, uh, trying to... This called Dubl al -Makh, and the yes, of Dubl al -Makh, the great platform built on walls returned back to Kasai time or third Babylonian time okay. and then Assyrian and Babylonian kings. So this building is 4,000 years old? Yes. And yes, it hasn't been touched because obviously the ziggurat here has been um, it's been updated twice once I think about 1600, uh, 1600 years ago and then again by Saddam. So tell me this the second time this was because this was updated I think um, rebuilt by the was it the last Neo-Babylon leader? Yes. Yes, and then yes, what did one he, of the Babylonian kings, what the did he, what, later. What did he do? Who? What did he, he do? What did, some parts of it. As in, is, the, is, is, the, is the wall original? Is the wall no, new? No, no, no. Some of the uh, parts original, some parts new. Okay. Which has a dark color, that's the original. Yeah. Uh, in the end of the Zagrat, you see the small stair there? Yes. The water of the rain of three levels that time. That's where it comes fell out. Fell down through that vertical drain, and they put in the small stair to carry rain water away. Ah, okay. From the oh structure. yes, of course they used it. Yeah, yeah, in order the water not yeah. made hole in the foundation. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's a shame you can't get upstairs. Yeah. 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 They've, they've closed it now. Yeah. Like this original. Yeah. Since the start of the year, they've closed it. See this? Yeah. 
Ah, okay, yeah, yes. This original. I'll this tell you what. Original. Dark color. You see the dark color original? Yes, oh, I see it now. Yes, of course. And inside? Maybe about the first 10, 15, of course. Yes. Yeah, they've, they've done. Not a, is that Was that the color? It used to be black? Uh, that's the, they paint it by bitumen to keep oh, it so they moisture. Paint, ah. Just about one meter, one meter. They've done this 4,000 years ago? They knew. Yes. They knew not only the writing, first law, musical instrument they found with Queen Shabbat. A ah. musical instrument. <laughs> that's, yeah. that's fascinating. It's in pretty good nick. Yeah, here we go. Obviously you can see the dark colour of the bricks, the originals. 4,000 years ago. There you go. Welcome to the Zegrat of Ur. That's the way you pronounce it, eh? Ur? Ur. 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 Right, okay. And really part of the same empire is Uruk. Uruk. Yeah, which is just, what, like 30 minutes away? Here, imagine that picture to the Zegrat. See the Zegrat? Oh, this is what it oh, yes. possibly One, could have looked two, like. One, two, three. Level, oh, so you had the blue and, and the red there on as well. The, top. Okay, the color is later, the same color, one color. It is, it is dark. <laughs> yeah, so one, two, three, and temple on the top. Temple yeah. on the top room, yes. and the three levels solid. There you go. Wow, so this is original, huh? Oh. They had electric, <laughs> no? <laughs> this is before one year ago. <laughs> Very good. You know the rain? Some place though, eh? The rain is in the van. And tell me this. Sorry, what's your name? Dive. Dive. Hello. Dive. Yeah. Dive. Dive. It means in Arabic called life. But you, you're dive. Life. And with the meaning I'm, of life. I'm dive. I'm dive. Ah. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Why? Why is it so quiet? Why not? Not you know. There's not many visitors for something so important. So old. visitors always. They came. Visitors. Yeah. Ah, but there's, uh, no, but, there's, uh, there's not many. Some hours. Especially in the midday, uh, okay. because uh, lunch. Two, uh, okay, yeah, of course, and prayers and all the rest of it. Yeah. There is the cigarette. But you of, see oh. visitors when you came? Yeah, yeah, I've seen uh, some. Yeah, not many. And, uh, yeah, not many, but, yeah. but most of the groups from Iraq. Shame we couldn't get up. Some of the groups from Europe. Yesterday, yeah. okay. came a group from Italy, two, group, two passes. And before that, coming also from. Yes, I met them. I met it, them? From Italy, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Even a, even a tip? No, no, no. No? No. Please, no? No, no, thank you. Oh. Say, can I just say something? I'm fine. Dave, thank Dave, you. Hello. You do not get this where I come from. Uh, be careful. Uh, yeah. Uh, Ireland? No, you don't get this. No, nothing free. Nothing free. Oh, no. Nothing no. free. <laughs> we have an expression no, no. in Ireland called no such thing as a free lunch. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Everything pay. Hello. Thank you very much, thank sir. Thank you. Sorry. Thank you. I hope you an interesting tour. It was great. Thank, thank you very much. Th Take th care. Thank you. Shukran. Hello, hello. Wow, bloody hell. Free? Jesus Christ. That shows a perfect example of the Iraqi hospitality. There you go. Guys, every day we get a lesson on hospitality. Irish are considered to be one of the most friendliest and hospi hospitable, and I completely agree. I think we are. But when you come to Iraq, Afghanistan, and that sort of region of the Middle East and Central Asia, you get a completely different meaning. This guy just came, he's been living here for, I think he's been looking after this place for 38 years. Him, his father, his grandfather, and his grandfather's probably grandfather. Yeah, it's one of the highlights of uh, Iraq, it's certainly his people. But anyway, now we're going to go to a city which is older nearly older than time itself. We're gonna to go to a city called Uruk, around 5,000 years old. <laughs> 